Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about editable templates. So this feature was introduced in AM 6.2 version and with editable template, creating and maintaining template is no longer a developer only task. Developer will still be required to set up the environment, create client library and create the component to be used. Let's talk about the types of template available in AEM. The first one is static template and the second one is editable template. Let's see the difference. Static templates are defined and configured only by developer. You have to actually write a code to do the things. Whereas in editable template, they are created and edited by the template authors. Static templates have the same structure as the page, so they are modeled after the design of the page. Whereas editable template allow you to define structure, initial content and content policies for a page. So you can define pretty much anything and have that be the basis for your template. Static templates rely on design mode for page properties. So what component can live on them? What component are already on them? There is no dynamic connection between the content and page in static template. Whereas in editable template also maintain a dynamic connection between the content and the pages because they are the part of the page design. Now let's jump into the roles. What are the roles required in the editable template? So there are total three roles comes into the picture. First one is admin, developer and template author. Admin define the required access rights and also assigns authors to create templates in the folder. Whereas developers are those who sets up the initial environment and creates the components to be used in a template. Whereas template authors are those who creates templates using the template editor and they can configure the use of the component in a page. Template authors are part of a members group which allocates the required privileges and permissions to author these templates. Now let's talk about the modes. So while using editable template, you will be using three modes. The first one is structure, initial content and layout. Here in this mode, you can define what components a template can hold. Initial content in this mode, this mode is what the initial content for each of these components should be. Example, you can predefine text in a text component, images in the image component. Whereas layout mode, here you can define how the layout goes based on the device format. Now we are pretty much clear about the theoretical knowledge of editable template. Now in the next video, we are eligible to create editable template. So we'll see how you can create a template using editable template. Thank you friends. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe my channel, like this video and share this with your friends. Thanks again for watching.